everyone, it's Katie, and if I get attacked by a bee during this video, I actually wouldn't be surprised because I'm sitting under a tree that's in my front yard that just started to blossom, so all the bees are like everywhere pollinating. Anyway, there will be some bees, but hopefully I don't get stung. So for today's video, I'm reviving an old tag that actually surfaced a long time ago, probably when I started YouTube like three years ago. It was a really big thing. So the tag video that I'll be doing today is called My Perfect Imperfections Tag, and it's funny that I'm filming this outside where all of my neighbors can totally hear me and whatnot, but honestly, I don't really care. A lot of people from my school watch my videos, a lot of neighbors watch my videos, so everyone's gonna see this, so why not do it out in the open? Basically, the perfect imperfections tag on YouTube is where you pick three to five, I think it's three, but I don't quite remember. I'm gonna go three. Three things that you like about yourself and three things you don't like about yourself. The main premise of this video is to not make fun of yourself or just talk about how much you hate yourself or anything like that. It's basically showing that we as YouTubers and just people and girls in general are, are real people and we have real insecurities and although I sit here on the YouTube internet webosphere and talk about beauty and fashion and stuff, that doesn't mean that I think I'm a perfect person, nor am I a perfect person. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the things that I don't particularly love about myself. And again, this isn't meant to make fun of myself. There's just some, some certain little things that I don't love, okay? The first thing that I don't necessarily love about myself is my thighs because I am a very gifted young lady and I have a lot in that which isn't necessarily something great and something that girls all love to say that they have and whatnot. Um, I'm not really sure what it's like from a guy's standpoint exactly, but let's just say it's not my favorite feature about myself. Number two thing that I would change is my skin because I have a couple different things I don't particularly like about my skin. First thing is I'm really pale and it's really, really hard for me to get any sort of a tan. I just burn. I go straight to red. No in-between, no slight tan, no anything. I'm basically either really, really pale or really, really red. I don't tan and it's so annoying, especially because all my friends have really beautiful sun-kissed skin and all that stuff and then there's me. Secondly, in the skin department, I have this really awful Thing called KP. I don't know the entire name. It's a huge scientific thing, but basically it is where I have these little red bumps on the backs of my arms and on my thighs, and it's really embarrassing. It's not that bad during the summer when I do get a little bit of color, but in the winter time or any time I decide to wear shorts, like right now where the weather is really strange, it's really, really annoying and embarrassing. It's something that can be treated to make it look less like, I don't know, prominent, it'll never really go away, I don't think. My dermatologist was very clear that I can't cure it, but I can treat it, sort of, if that makes sense. So um, that's my second thing, my skin. I did have a lot of acne, but it's all gone now, now that I've matured and become more, less hormonal or something, I don't know. Third thing I don't like about myself is, this is very like TMI, but my excess facial hair. I don't really try to hide it as much as I used to. Like I literally used to burn and get rid of my baby pictures because I had a full on Holga like unibrow in all of my baby pictures and in my childhood. I, I used to be so angry at my mom for not like waxing earlier because I started waxing my eyebrows when I was like 13 years old, which seems kind of young to some people, but when you are constantly being made fun of and going home crying every day because people are making fun of how much hair you have on your arms, your legs, everywhere, it's really, really bad for the self-esteem. So my mom let me wax when I was 13, but I'm, I used to be really angry that she didn't let me do it earlier. But now that I think about it, without all of this, I would not be who I am today because I've kind of looked past that sort of thing. And yes, I do still wax my eyebrows and my lip and all that stuff but that doesn't mean that I'm not like embracing the fact that I am gifted with hair I'm never gonna go bald I know that for sure so um, I guess I am kind of happy about it but it's definitely been a huge insecurity all my life for this video I'm mainly focusing on the physical things but I might do another video where I focus on more like intellectual and emotional things because there's obviously some things about me that I don't love like inside of me, like my impatience and all that stuff, but um, I'm gonna be focusing on more physical things because our society is very based on the physical assets of everything, so I thought it'd be interesting to go on that sort of tempo. The things that I do like about myself, three things. Um, first thing I like, I do really love my eyebrows because it does set me apart from a lot of other people. A lot of people don't necessarily love the thick, full eyebrows sort of thing. I would never like wax my eyebrows to their little like slivers of 
brow. That's just not really how I like my eyebrows and it's something I really take pride in that my eyebrows are nice and full and I don't over pluck them or over wax them. I'm very very particular with when I wax them actually. I go to the same guy. A guy. Yeah that's my biggest tip for if you're going to get your eyebrows waxed at a salon or a nail salon or something where they barely speak English. I recommend going to a guy because a guy will never really wax your eyebrows too much you know because guys don't really like their eyebrows too thin anyway. I go to my homeboy, Bill. He waxes my eyebrows. He's been doing it for two years. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I go to college. I'm gonna have to bring him with me. Next on the list of things that I like, I like my lips, or more particularly my lip shade, because I have a really natural, like, pinky tint to my lips. Lips? I can speak lips. It comes in handy because I don't always have to be wearing lipstick or lip gloss, and a lot of you guys comment on my videos saying, like, what lip color are you wearing when I'm actually just wearing, like, chapstick? It's always great to have a nice natural lip tint and I'm really happy that I have that. It's kind of weird to talk about that, but I really like the way my lips are colored, if that makes any sense, and I really hate that bird. I feel like Mother Nature just does not want me to film today. So I guess the last thing that I like about myself is not really as physical as I intended it for it to be. This might sound really cheesy now that I'm saying it out loud, but basically, I love the fact that I can sit here and make videos for you guys and not care as much about what other people think, and I'm constantly being not ridiculed as much as just like shouted out and pointed out for making my videos in school and just in general and to some people it might be really scary to have people know that I, you make videos and stuff and uh, for me it's somehow just not as bad as it used to be and not bad at all. I'm actually really proud of what I do and I'm just glad that I don't let it bother me at all when I get hater comments and stuff. I guess that's something I really like about myself. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say in this video. I hope you guys will do this tag and bring it back to life because it's such a great tag. It teaches such a great message that um, we're not all perfect. It's really interesting to see girls who I think are perfect, like other YouTubers, who I'm like, oh my gosh, there's simply nothing wrong with them. And then they make this video and I'm like, wow, like I did not see that coming. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.